All right, so welcome to another deep dive with us today. We're taking a look at the world of online marketing. Hmm. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on David Sharp and his company, Legendary Marketer. Okay. And uh, we've got a ton of information here. We've got some YouTube videos, reviews, articles. Right. And, you know, you want to know if Legendary Marketer is the real deal. Yeah, I think a lot of people are curious about that. Yeah, so we're going to break it all down for you. It's interesting. There's a lot of different perspectives on it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we've got kinda... those super enthusiastic affiliate marketers who just, you know, absolutely love it. Right. But then we've also got some customers who aren't too happy. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay. We'll guide you through all of this, give you the facts so you can make up your own mind. Sounds good. First things first, what is Legendary Marketer? Well, it's an online platform, and it was started by David Sharp. Okay. You've probably heard of him. He's pretty well known in the internet marketing world. Yep. They mainly focus on digital marketing training, and a lot of that training is on affiliate marketing. All right, so for someone who's brand new to this whole thing, what exactly is affiliate marketing? So imagine you find a product you really like, maybe like a course on how to make a podcast, right? Okay. And you tell people about it, like your friends, family, online audience. Mm -hmm. And when someone buys that course because of you, because you shared it, you get a commission. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's affiliate marketing. So you're kind of like a, I don't know, a matchmaker. Uh-huh. Connecting right. people with products they'll love. And you get paid for it. Interesting. Very cool. It can be a good business model. Okay. So back to Legendary Marketer. Mm -hmm. What do their programs look like? They've got different levels. Okay. You can start with their 15-day online business builder challenge. Okay. It's only $7. Wow. That's pretty affordable. Yeah, it's just to give you a little taste of affiliate marketing, see if you like it. I see, like a little trial run. All right, so what comes after the challenge? They have the Marketers Club. Okay. It's a monthly membership. You get access to a whole bunch of videos, training materials, expert interviews. Mm. They even have live webinars every week. So it's like you're constantly learning and improving your skills. Yeah, exactly. Like a gym membership, but for your online business. I like that analogy. That's good. Uh-huh. Thanks. So they ease you in with the 15-day challenge. Then if you want to go deeper, there's the Marketers Club. Right. Got it. Is there anything else? Well, if you're ready to really dive in, they have something called the Business Blueprints. Okay. It's a package. It costs $2,500, and it's supposed to give you step-by-step -step plans for four different online business models. Oh, wow. So that's a bigger investment? Yeah, it is, but it's supposed to be very comprehensive. Okay. And one of those business models is affiliate marketing. Exactly. Got it. And then what about those live events I've heard about? Oh, those are called masterminds. Masterminds. Okay. They're for people who are already seeing some success with their online business. So it's like the next level. Yeah. You get to network with other successful people, learn from the best in the industry. All right. So it seems like they've got a pretty diverse range of programs. Yeah, they really do. But let's get down to brass tacks. What's the quality of the training like? Well, from the reviews we've seen, a lot of people say the materials are really well made. Yeah. Easy to understand, which is important, especially if you're just starting out. Absolutely. You don't want to be overwhelmed with jargon and technical stuff. Exactly. And people seem to really like Dave Sharp's teaching style. Oh, yeah. What's it like? He's very down to earth, relatable. He explains things in a way that's easy to grasp. That's important because online marketing can get pretty complex. Oh, yeah. For sure. So it's good that he breaks things down in yeah. a way that anyone can understand. Right. And another thing people mention a lot is the community aspect. Okay. Tell me more about that. It seems like Legendary Marketer has a really strong online community. Hmm. They have Facebook groups. They do these live webinars. And they even have advisors you can talk to. Oh, wow. So it's not just like you're buying a course and then you're on your own. No, not at all. There's a whole support system in place. That's great because... Building a business online can be pretty lonely sometimes. It can. It really can. So having that community and those mentors can make a big difference. Absolutely. It can be a game changer. Speaking of game changers, I actually wanted to mention something that might be helpful for you in your own online marketing journey. Oh, yeah. What's that? Have you heard of Brian Garvin? Um, The name sounds familiar, but I don't think so. He's got this awesome free guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Really? Free? Yep. Completely free. And it's over 12,000 words of pure gold. Wow, that's impressive. And an incredible resource for anyone who wants to learn about affiliate marketing. So how can our listeners get their hands on that? Super easy. Just go to briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And just enter your name and email. Then click the verification link they sent you and boom, you're in. Wow, that's easy. Yeah. 
Super simple. He also has the link in his YouTube bio, if that's easier. Got it. BrianGarvin.com. I'll have to check that out. Definitely. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get back to Legendary Marketer. Okay. So far, everything sounds pretty positive, but you know there's always another side to the story. Oh, for sure. What are some of the criticisms or controversies surrounding them? Well, one of the biggest ones is that they're known for their aggressive upselling. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Some people say that their business advisors put a lot of pressure on them to buy the $2,500 business blueprints. Oh, even if they're not really ready or can't afford it. Yeah, exactly. Some people feel like they're being pushed into something they're not comfortable with. That's a valid concern. Mm -hmm. I mean, not every product is right for everyone. Right. And it ties into another criticism. Some people feel like their marketing can be misleading. Misleading? How uh, so? Well, you know, they kind of make it sound like you can get rich quick with very little effort. Ah, the classic get rich quick promise. Exactly. But as we know, building a real online business takes time and effort. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not a magic bullet. Right. It's about hard work, dedication, consistency. And that actually reminds me of what Brian Garvin talks about in his free guide. Oh, yeah. He's all about building a sustainable business, you know, providing real value, building trust with your audience. Yeah, that's the long term approach. Exactly. And it's much more effective than just trying to chase quick riches. I agree. So we've got the aggressive upselling, the potentially misleading marketing. What else is there? Well, we've also heard some things about their customer support. Oh, what kind of things? It seems like it's a mixed bag. Some people say they've had great experiences, okay. but others say they felt kind of abandoned after they bought the program. Hmm. It's not good. Yeah. And there are even reports of people asking for help and basically being told to Google it. Wow. That's not what you want to hear after spending thousands of dollars. No, it's definitely something to consider. Especially if you're someone who values support and guidance. Right. And of course, we can't talk about online marketing without addressing those big income claims. Ah, yes, the I made a million dollars in a month kind of thing. Exactly. It seems like there are some affiliate marketers out there who are promoting Legendary Marketer with some pretty bold promises. Yeah, you've got to be careful with those. It's easy to get caught up in the hype. Absolutely. But it's important to remember that everyone's experience is different. Right. What works for one person might not work for another. Exactly. So take those claims with a grain of salt. Good advice. And focus on the fundamentals. Learn the skills. Put in the work. Build a real business. That's the key to long-term success. Now, there was this NBC News report that came out. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. It caused quite a stir. They interviewed people who had some pretty negative experiences with Legendary Marketer. Yeah. They were saying that the advertising was deceptive and the upselling was too aggressive. Yeah, that report definitely got people talking. It really highlighted the importance of doing your research. Yeah, absolutely. You can't just believe everything you see online. No, you got to dig deeper, look at different perspectives. And remember, there are always multiple sides to every story. That's true. It's important to be critical. Speaking of which, there was one thing that stood out to me in that report. What was that? They talked about how the fastest way to make money with Legendary Marketer is to actually become an affiliate and sell their products. Hmm, interesting. So... You're not just learning how to build a business, you're also learning how to sell Legendary Marketer itself. Yeah, that's actually a common strategy in affiliate marketing. I see. But it's important to do it ethically. Right, you don't want to be making promises you can't keep. Exactly. You have to be honest and transparent. And focus on providing real value. Absolutely. It's all about helping people, not just making a quick buck. Okay, so we've talked about some of the controversies. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about David Sharp himself. Okay. He's got this compelling rags to riches story. Yeah, he does. He came from humble beginnings and built a huge online empire. It's pretty inspiring, right? It is. It resonates with a lot of people who are looking for that kind of success. He's kind of like the embodiment of the laptop lifestyle dream. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see that. But there's also been some criticism of his teaching style. Hmm. What kind of criticism? Well, some people find him very engaging, but others say he's a bit too salesy. I guess it depends on your personal preference. Right. Some people like that high energy, motivational style. Yeah. While others prefer a more straightforward, information based approach. Exactly. And, you know, David Sharp is a master marketer. Oh, without a doubt. He knows how to sell and he's very good at it. That's sure. But that doesn't necessarily mean that his program is a scam or anything like that. Right. It's important to look beyond the marketing and see what the actual value is. So it all comes down to 
the quality of the training, the support they provide. And whether it's a good fit for you personally. Okay, let's get into some more specifics about the Legendary Marketer Program. Sounds good. We'll start with that 15-day online business builder challenge. Right. As we mentioned, it's only $7. Yep, super affordable. It's designed to give you a taste of affiliate marketing, introduce you to some basic concepts. They cover things like finding your niche, creating a sales funnel, driving traffic to your offers. And it's a pretty low-risk way to see if Legendary Marketer is right for you. Yeah, it's like a test drive before you commit to a bigger purchase. Exactly. Now, what about the Marketers Club? Okay, so the Marketers Club gives you access to a massive library of training materials. Mm. They have videos, expert interviews, and those weekly live webinars we talked about. Oh, and they cover a lot of different online marketing topics. Yeah, they do. It's like Netflix for online marketers. Uh-huh. Like that. They're always adding new content, too, so you're constantly learning and staying up to date. So it's for people who are serious about this who want to build a real business. Absolutely, it's an ongoing learning platform. Got it, now let's talk about the business blueprints. Okay. This is their most expensive product, right? Yeah, it is, it costs $2,500. So what exactly do you get for that price? The business blueprints are supposed to be a step-by-step -step roadmap for building a profitable online business. Okay. They cover four different business models, including affiliate marketing. Right, and they're supposed to give you everything you need to get started and grow your business. Exactly. It's a pretty hefty package. But as we talked about earlier, there's been some controversy surrounding them. Yeah, some people feel pressured to buy them, and others say they didn't get their money's worth. So it's important to really think it through, do your research before making such a big investment. Absolutely. And, you know, there are alternative resources out there. Like Brian Garvin's free guide. Exact. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's over 12,000 words of valuable information. Wow. And it's completely free. Yep. You can get it at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Okay. I'll have to check that out. All right. So we've talked about the different programs, the controversies. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Legendary Marketer as a whole. Okay. Sounds good. What are some things that people genuinely like about the program? Well, one of the biggest pros is that the training is really comprehensive. Okay. They cover a lot of different topics, from the basics to more advanced strategies. So it's not just surface-level stuff. No, they really go in-depth, especially with the Marketers Club membership. Right. You get access to all those training materials, the webinars. It's a lot of value. Exactly. And another pro is the community aspect. Yeah, we talked about that. They seem to have a really strong online community. They do, and people really appreciate that, especially when they're just starting out. Yeah, it, it makes a big difference to have that support and guidance. It does, and then, of course, there are the success stories. Oh, yeah, those testimonials can be pretty inspiring. They can, but, you know, it's important to remember that results can vary. Right. What works for one person might not work for another. Exactly. There's no guarantee of success in any business. That's true. Every journey is unique. All right, so those are some of the pros. Now let's talk about the cons. Okay, hit me with it. Well, we already talked about the aggressive upselling. That's definitely a big one. Yeah, and the potentially misleading marketing. Right, promising those quick riches, which is rarely the reality. It's important to be realistic about that. Absolutely. Building a business takes time and effort. Another con we've heard is the inconsistency of their customer support. Yeah, some people have had great experiences, but others have felt ignored or dismissed. That's not good. No, it's not. And then there's the whole issue of those exaggerated income claims. Right. Those can be really tempting to believe, but you have to be skeptical. Exactly. Those claims don't represent everyone's experience. For sure. It's all about focusing on the fundamentals, learning the skills, putting in the work. Building a sustainable business, not chasing quick riches. Couldn't have said it better myself. So as we wrap up this part of our deep dive, what are some key takeaways for our listeners? Well, First and foremost, do your research. Okay, don't just rely on the marketing hype. Exactly. Read reviews, watch videos, get a sense of what people are really saying. And remember, building a successful online business takes time, effort, and dedication. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a journey, and it's not always easy. But if you're willing to put in the work, it can be incredibly rewarding. Now, if you're looking for a great place to start without spending any money, I highly recommend checking out Brian Garvin's free guide. Oh, yeah, that 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate guide. Exactly. It's packed with valuable information, and it's completely free. You can find it at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. He also has the link in his YouTube bio, if that's easier. It's a fantastic resource for anyone who wants to learn about affiliate marketing. All right, so that's it for this part of our deep dive. Crazy. We'll be back soon with part two. 
where we'll dig even deeper into Legendary Marketer. I'm looking forward to it. We'll talk more about David Sharp, explore the pros and cons of their different programs. Sounds good. And we'll give you even more tips and insights to help you on your online marketing journey. Yeah, we'll wait. Until then, keep learning, keep growing, and keep crushing it. Absolutely. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah, it really is about playing that long game. Absolutely. Yeah. And a big part of that is having the right mindset. Hmm. And that's something Brian Garvin really emphasizes in his guide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he talks about, you know, focusing on providing value. Right. Building genuine relationships with your audience. That's so important. It is. It's a refreshing perspective in a world where everyone's just chasing those quick profits. Totally agree. Okay, so let's get back to Legendary Marketer for a minute. Sure. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on David Sharp himself. Hmm. Yeah. He's a bit of a polarizing figure. He is. Some people are really drawn to his story. Yeah, the whole rags to riches thing. Exactly. He's a master of self-promotion. No doubt about that. He's built a successful online empire. He has, and his story resonates with a lot of people. It does, especially those who dream of achieving financial freedom through online marketing. Right. He's like the ultimate laptop lifestyle guru. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, you know, it's important to look beyond the surface. Right. What's the substance behind the sizzle? Exactly. So what's your take? Is there real value in his teachings or is it all smoke and mirrors? Well, from what I've seen, there is definitely some valuable information there. Okay. Especially for beginners, he covers the basics pretty well. Makes sense. But I can see why some people criticize his style. Yeah, too salesy. A bit, yeah. He does push his higher price products quite a lot. Hmm. It's a tough balance, isn't it? It is. You want to promote your products, but you also don't want to alienate your audience. Exactly. You have to find that sweet spot. Okay, so let's dive back into the specifics of Legendary Marketer's offerings. We've touched on the 15-day challenge, the Marketer's Club, and the Business Blueprints. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the value proposition of each of these programs? Well, the 15-day challenge is a great starting point. Yeah. Low cost, low risk. Exactly. It gives you a taste of what they offer. Like a sampler platter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. Now, the Marketers Club is for those who want to go deeper. Right. It's for people who are serious about building an online business. Like a gym membership for your online business skills. I like that analogy. And then there are the business blueprints. The big kahuna. They promise a lot. But they also come with a hefty price tag. Yeah, and as we've discussed, there's been some controversy surrounding them. Right, some people feel pressured to buy them. Others feel like they didn't get their money's worth. It's a big decision, so it's important to do your research. Absolutely, and remember, there are other resources available. Oh, yeah, sure. Like Brian Garvin's free guide. Oh, right, 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. It's packed with valuable information, and it won't cost you a dime. You can't beat that. You can grab it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Awesome. Okay, so we've talked a lot about Legendary Marketer. We have. But let's broaden the conversation a bit. Okay. What are some other affiliate marketing programs or resources that you think are worth exploring? Ooh, good question. There are so many options out there. There are. It can be overwhelming. It can be. So where should people start? Well, one platform that's been around for a while is ClickBank. ClickBank, okay. They have a huge marketplace of digital products you can promote. So it's like a one-stop shop for finding affiliate products. Pretty much, yeah. Interesting. What else? Another popular option is Amazon Associates. Amazon. Oh, yeah, of course. It's a pretty straightforward program. You can promote any product on Amazon. And earn a commission on qualifying purchases. Exactly. So if you have a blog or a website that focuses on a particular niche. You can easily recommend relevant products and earn some passive income. That's a great way to monetize your content. It is. And don't forget about YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. There are tons of YouTubers who teach affiliate marketing. Oh, wow. So you can learn for free. You can. It's like having a virtual mentor. That's cool. So many options. There are. The key is to explore and find what works best for you. And don't forget, if you're feeling overwhelmed, yeah. Brian Garvin's free guide is a great resource. Oh, right. That's a good one. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's a great roadmap for success. It is. It covers a lot of ground. You can find it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. It's completely free. Okay. So now let's talk about something that's crucial for success in affiliate marketing. All right. What's that? Building trust. Mm, that's a big one. It is. In a world full of scams and shady tactics. How can affiliate marketers establish themselves as trustworthy? Right. How do you stand out from the crowd? That's the million dollar question. It is. And it's something that Brian Garvin actually addresses in his guide. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He talks about the importance of transparency, mm -hmm. authenticity, 
providing genuine value to your audience. It's about building a reputation for honesty and integrity. Exactly. And one of the best ways to do that is to be upfront about your affiliate relationships. Right. Don't try to hide the fact that you're earning a commission. Be transparent. Let people know why you're recommending these products. And that you genuinely believe in them. It shows that you're not just in it for the money. People appreciate that. They do. It builds trust and credibility. And ultimately, that's what leads to long-term success. Absolutely. Okay, so we've talked about providing value, building trust. Yeah. Now let's talk about something that's often overlooked. What's that? Failure. Oh, the F word. Oh, uh, yeah. Nobody likes to talk about it. But it's an inevitable part of the journey. It is. You can't have success without setbacks. Exactly. And in a world that often glorifies overnight success. It's important to remember that failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of the process. It's a stepping stone. So how can aspiring affiliate marketers embrace failure? Well, the first step is to shift your perspective. Okay. How do you do that? Instead of seeing failure as a negative thing, yeah. view it as feedback. Feedback that can help you improve. Exactly. It's a learning opportunity. I like that. What else? Surround yourself with a supportive community. People who understand the ups and downs of entrepreneurship. Right. People who can offer encouragement and guidance. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Absolutely. There are tons of resources available. And, you know, Brian Garvin's free guide is a great example of that. Oh, yeah. He's been through it all. He's got a wealth of experience to share. That's valuable. It is. You can find his guide at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Okay, we'll have to mention that again. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a great resource. It is. Okay, so as we wrap up this part of our deep dive, yeah. I want to leave our listeners with a final thought-provoking question. Ooh, I love those. In a world where attention spans are shrinking. And the online landscape is constantly changing. How can affiliate marketers cut through the noise and create content that truly resonates? Hmm. That is a great question. Yeah, it's all about creating content that people actually want to see. Right. Content that's valuable, engaging, relevant. Exactly. You got to understand your audience. Know what they're looking for, what their pain points are. Yeah, what keeps them up at night. And then create content that speaks directly to those things. Content that helps them solve problems, achieve their goals. Make their lives better. And be authentic, you know. Yeah, people can spot a fake a mile away. They can. Be yourself. Share your story. Let your personality shine through. And don't be afraid to experiment. Try new things. See what works. The online world is constantly changing. You gotta adapt. Evolve. It's all part of the fun. It is. It's what keeps things interesting. Okay, so before we wrap up, mm -hmm. I want to circle back to something we talked about earlier. Okay. Ethical considerations in affiliate marketing. Oh, yeah, that's an important one. It is. It's something I feel strongly about. Me too. It's about more than just making money. It's about building a business you can be proud of. A business that's built on integrity. Transparency. Yeah. A genuine desire to help others. And you know, Brian Garvin actually talks about this in his free guide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. He has a whole section on ethical considerations. He does. He gives some really practical tips for promoting products with integrity. It's a great resource for anyone who wants to do this the right way. Absolutely. You can find it at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. He also has the link in his YouTube bio. It's over 12,000 words of pure gold. And it's completely free. All right. So that brings us to the end of our deep dive into David Sharp and Legendary Marketer. It's been quite a journey. It has. We've covered a lot of ground. We talked about the program's offerings, the controversies, the importance of ethical marketing. We hope this deep dive has been helpful for you. We hope it's given you a better understanding of Legendary Marketer. And helped you make a more informed decision. Remember, do your research, weigh the pros and cons. And most importantly, trust your gut. Building a successful business takes time and effort. There are no shortcuts. But with the right mindset and the right strategies, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. And don't forget about Brian Garvin's free guide. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's a fantastic resource that can help you on your journey. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for another deep dive.